welcome to Procedural Architecture Part 2, brought to you by GameTutor.com. In this course, we are going to continue where we left off in uh, Procedural Architecture Part 1, and we're going to start to talk about how to add doors to our wall system, and not just a single door. We're going to talk about how we can layer on multiple doors uh, so your wall can have doors all the way around the perimeter. Uh, we're also going to start talking about material assignments, collision meshes, uh, vertex colors. Uh, we're going to run through quite a bit of information and uh, really get this wall system into something that we can use uh, for a real-time game project. So let's take a look at these doors over here. So uh, you'll notice that I have this door over here. All right. And the nice thing about this, I can actually change the position. I can even put it on a corner over here. All right. I can move it around. Like so, we can also change the actual width of this door. And you'll notice the pillars will update appropriately. Uh, we can change the Y offset of the door so we can get it off the ground a little bit. We can change the, the height of that door, change the thickness of that door. And we can also change the inset too as well. So a lot of, a lot of different controls, a lot of cool techniques that we're going to cover in part two here. Uh, we can always, we can also uh, rotate the doors uh, on their pivot points. All right, so something... Really cool, not necessarily really needed, but a uh, really cool feature, and it's always cool to uh, really understand how this stuff is done inside of Houdini, so that way you can utilize it for your Houdini engine OTLs as well. The nice thing about all this stuff too is that uh, it will go with the curve as well, so if we were to change our curve, the wall will, or the doors will update as well. So we have two ways of controlling the position, and nothing gets lost in all this, and so this is why it's really valuable, and we really wanted to show you how to do this type of technique using Houdini 14 and the Houdini Engine version 1.9 inside of Unity 5. All right, let's get started.